Find out. What do you make of that symbol, Malcolm? I don't know, Hal. Does it mean anything to you, Tal Shatali? The men of the hills are gathering. The symbol says that the white men are to be driven from the Valley of Tombs. Lieutenant! <laughs> Close the stockade gates. Man the machine guns. Yes, sir. Close those gates! Take your places. Man the guns. Come on, give me a hand. Take cover, Betty. This may be serious. attack the legend one no white man shall desecrate the valley of tombs that is not the true legend when there is desecration Scorpio will erupt see for yourself there is no eruption you have spilled blood without reason return to your people and counsel them to await a sign from Scorpio Shall be as you say, Tuan. The true ledger must not be violated. But the white men must leave. There is a curse which says that any white man that enters the Valley of Tomb shall die. He's coming back. It looks as if Tal Chitali was successful. I hope so. Is the attack over? Who are they? What do they want? We will not be attacked again if we stop our work in the tombs and depart. But our visas and permits are in order. The chief warns that no permit will protect us from the curse of the scorpion if we enter the inner tomb. The only reason I financed this expedition was to examine the contents of that tomb. Surely you're not going to be stopped by a native curse. It's superstitious nonsense. That's what everybody said about the curse of King Tut's tomb. But a lot of them died. We'll handle this, Billy. We'll open the tomb at once. We we'll strike camp in the morning and be well on our way before there is any further danger from the natives. That suit you, Tal Chitali? I wish our danger came only from the natives. You don't take this curse of the scorpion seriously. Believe me, gentlemen, there is a curse of the scorpion. Nonsense. We'll be seeing ghosts next. Let's get to work. Will you and Carlisle get these specimens back to camp? We'll be glad to. There's an inscription here. Can you translate it, Tal Chutali? Yes, I can translate it.
It says, let what reposes behind this stone remain hidden from the eyes of mankind for all time. Why, the secret of the Scorpion dynasty must lie beyond this wall. Perhaps it would be wise not to learn what that secret is. That's ridiculous. Well, I think Mr. Talchitelli is right. I feel as though I were robbing a grave right now. You afraid, Billy? Well, no, sir. I just don't want to pry into anybody's secrets. I'll go into these passages and remove that pottery for you, but I don't want any part of this. Very well. Billy Batson is the wisest one among us. I think I shall follow his example, if I may be excused. Just as you like. Not a tomb at all. What on earth is it? Well, that's hard to say. Why, oh, these are lenses of a sort. They're probably a few with quartz of some kind. Well, if this is the dreaded secret of the Scorpion dynasty, it seems to be quite harmless now. Sunlight seems to have something to do with it. Why? These lenses are adjustable. Here, bring them all into focus. Shazam! My name is... All is known to me. Your name is Billy Batson. You did not pry into the secret of the Scorpion. That is why I am here. But where did you come from? Out of the past, my son. Down through the ages to guard the secret of the Scorpion. You've been alive all these years? What you call life returned to me when your friends violated the tomb of the scorpion. Well, they meant no harm. Then they should have obeyed the inscription on the tomb. The harm has been done. It is your duty to see that the curse of the scorpion is not visited upon innocent people. My duty? Yes. So long as the golden scorpion may fall into the hands of selfish men, it is the duty of Captain Marvel to protect the innocent from its evil use. But who is Captain Marvel? You are, my son. All that is necessary is to repeat my name, Shazan. By its repetition, you will become Captain Marvel and take on the virtues you see recorded there. The wisdom of Solomon the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the power of Zeus, the great courage of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury. You must never call upon this power except in the service of right. To do so would bring the scorpion's curse upon your own head. And now, my son, repeat my name and return to the rescue of your friends. Shazam!
Shazam! You all right? Uh, yes. It was a concussion from the explosion. What caused it? Why, that device there. Quick, call the others. We've got to get Lang and Fisher up to camp. You bring the scorpion. Take care of this scroll, Bentley. It is set forth here that a certain arrangement of the lenses will transmute any substance placed in front of the base lens to pure gold. That's impossible. Sounds like rubbish to me. Well, we can soon find out. Show us how to arrange the lenses. Uh, Billy, bring me uh, several stones. Place them on the ground. Uh, step back, please. Why, it is gold. The purest I've ever seen. Only the sun's rays is needed to create it. If we only knew the formula for making those lenses. What difference does that make? We've got these. Gentlemen, do you realize that this golden scorpion makes us the richest and most powerful group in the world? Too rich and too powerful. Are you suggesting that we destroy the scorpion? Think of its scientific value. I am thinking of that. What do you propose? That the lenses be distributed among us. That another take the scorpion itself. And in that way, the device could never be used without the consent of all. But what about the scroll? The scorpion is useless without it. I suggest that Billy Batson be entrusted with the scroll. Oh, but he's so young, how? And this is of such vast importance. Nevertheless, Billy is probably the only one among us who can't translate it. Oh, but Mr. Howell, I would... I think Mr. Howell's plan is excellent. Dr. Charlie, will you disassemble the lenses, please? <clears throat> Professor Fisher, Mr. Carlyle, Professor Bentley, Dr. Lang, Mr. Malcolm. And Billy, this is for you to guard. See that you guard it well. It contains a precious and a dangerous secret. Don't worry, Talcha Tally. I'll guard it. Well said, young fellow. I'm sure you will. See that your personal belongings are packed tonight. We start to load at 4 o'clock in the morning and start for the base camp at daylight. Signal. Thank you, sir. There's evil in the air tonight. Yes, sir. You know, I feel the same way.
Well, you all seem restless tonight. And for good reason. the curse of the golden scorpion does well to protect himself. Good night. Good night. about you, spewed up by Scorpio, the guardian of the Valley of Tombs. If the hands of alien whites desecrate our holy places, Scorpio will give the sign to war. Scorpio has spoken. Sentry's been knifed, sir. Rout out your men. Search the camp. Yes, sir. Where is Howell? In our tent. Radio the British troops at Fort Multan. Tell them we need immediate aid. Yes, sir. MAE on 624, calling Fort Multan. Malcolm Archaeological Expedition on 624, calling Fort Multan. Fort Moulton, come in, M.E. We need immediate aid. We were attacked by natives this afternoon, and two of our men have been killed here tonight. Stand by, M.E. Yes, Sergeant? Trouble with that Malcolm expedition in the Valley of Tombs, sir. They're standing by. Ask their exact position and tell them I'll send a troop immediately. Orderly! Must have your exact location.
Colonel Hudson says the troops are well on their way. Thank you, Billy. One of my men reports movement in the rock, sir. Tell them to keep a sharp lookout, Lieutenant. Do you honestly believe that the volcano has anything to do with the scorpion? That's the legend. The natives were regarded as a sign of war. I don't believe there's a native within 10 miles of here. Kale and ambush them. Shazam! 